Welcome to Fishing Village Channel. Today we will talk about Nemo the Clownfish. I'm going to start with the clownfish characters Nemo, Marlin, and Coral. We can safely claim that our clownfish are among the most well-liked and frequently the center of attention fish in our aquarium. Clownfish are sociable fish that exchange messages by clicking and popping noises. They reside in communities of male fish that include a dominant male, a dominant female, and a number of lesser dominant males. Taking advantage of the best food opportunities helps the dominant male maintain his position. The dominant male fish will turn permanently female if the group's female passes away, and the biggest of the smaller males will take over as the dominant male. Clownfish females are able to lay a lot of eggs. The male will fertilize them once they are laid. Usually, the male eats any broken or sterile eggs. Depending on the species, the clownfish can have a wide range of colors, including yellow, orange, red, and black. Many have white accents. The smallest is 7 to 8 cm long, while the largest is 17 cm long. Clownfish are found amid anemones in sheltered reefs or lagoons in warm waters like the Pacific Ocean and the Red Sea. Clownfish consume a variety of tiny invertebrates, algae, and leftover food from the anemone. Clownfish and anemones coexist in a mutually beneficial symbiotic connection to thrive. The clownfish are protected from predators by the anemone, which also provides food scraps. In exchange, the clownfish attracts fish to the anemone using its vivid colors. The fish are then poisoned by the anemone and consumed. The clownfish also uses its waste to fertilize the anemone. Clownfish Facts Throughout the year, clownfish eggs can hatch at any time. The male clownfish protects the eggs after they are placed and until they hatch. All male clownfish are born. Once they change gender, they can never go back to being male. It is still unknown how clownfish escape the anemone's toxicity, despite speculations. The female clownfish only occasionally assists the males as the principal caregivers for their young. Popping and clicking noises are used by clownfish to exchange messages. Hope you liked the video. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching all our videos.